love to. Okay, thank you for coming into this room. Okay, this is uh, Raji here from Site Trader. Okay, we still have a uh, couple of more guys to come. Okay, anyway, I think we'll commence the session while while we are waiting for the others. Okay, anyway, the topic we are going to discuss today is um, solutions to common trading mistakes and live trading. Okay, what we are going to do is basically we are going to discuss on live markets. And if you are holding any trades, or if you got caught in any trades, or if you are you are making money but you do not know where or when to exit, okay, probably you know we can discuss and <clears throat> make the session um, uh, more useful, okay. And uh, do take note of the risk disclo disclosure. This is going to be purely education, and whatever we are going to discuss, okay, this is you know you are going to trade on your own accord, and. Uh, Please um, take uh, control the risk and at the same time trade wisely. Okay, I questions asked as a trader. Okay, I believe uh, you know, like being a trader, okay, we do have a lot of questions uh, running in our mind day to day and every uh, every time you know when we put in a trade, you know, we we have we need to ask yourself, you know, whether we are, you know, how to make money consistently, uh, how not to lose money, which chart tool is best to use, which is the perfect chart tool, you know, for instance, like uh, uh, you wouldn't know uh, uh, whether to use moving averages, trend channels, Fibonacci, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and which indicators to use and why always the market takes me out and reverses as expected. I do not know whether you have come across this scenario whereby Okay, you put in your stop loss and uh, you get stopped out and the market starts to move in our favor as we expected. So most of the time, you know, this happens as if the market is sitting just next to by the side and, and just uh, taking us out. And uh, can I be a successful in this business? And how to get out a losing position safely, especially, you know, when we have a losing positions. Okay, we wouldn't know uh, when to uh, exit at the best level. You know, for instance, you know, if you just close, probably you may incur a big loss. But sometimes, you know, if we have waited or uh, we have entered, uh, we have waited for a better levels to exit. So um, this is also and how to prevent sleepless nights. Okay, especially when you are holding a uh, losing position. Okay, you wouldn't know. Uh, and uh, whether to hold and every time you know you wake up in the night to see whether you know the market has reversed or in our favor and etc etc so there's a lot of questions as a trader you know and i've been in the business for almost like uh, going to be like 20 years and we have been developed a system okay basically to to overcome all these problems and uh, how to how do we be a successful trader and as uh, the successful trader, you know, in order for you to be successful, okay, what to trade, how to trade, you know, you need to have a reliable system. Okay, you need to know when to stay in the market, when to stay sideline, when to watch, when to, uh, 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 you know, like put in the trade, you know, and uh, also the precise entry. Okay, meaning in the sense, okay, what is the best price to trade? When we put in, when we meant the best price. What we meant is, you know, of making not not uh, missing the entry at the same time, also entering the best level, you know. So and also the exit, okay, uh, the best level of exit. Meaning, you know, when we put in a exit price, okay, we must ensure that we close the trade at a profit, okay, not like missing the profit and 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 eventually it becomes a a loss. And precise stop loss. Okay, the levels to be placed. Okay, we place a stop loss is basically to protect ourselves and protect our trades. So we should not be, you know, putting in levels that what is the amount we are uh, prepared to lose or what is the amount uh, we can afford to lose. So basically, we put a stop, not to get stopped out. At the same time, you know, we we stay in the business and we try to make uh, money. You know, as as the market turns off. The market uh, reverses money management <coughs> this is the contract size of the investment okay like for instance like you put in like thousand us 
okay i i i i do have some clients you know who put in 1000 us you know they 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 try to 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 make a big profit you know within within a day or within a week you know meaning in the sense probably they do uh, even uh, one lot or half lot you know which is which is not uh, the right method or right way to approach the market so basically <clears throat> whatever your investment that defines the contract size or the uh, level you want to take because basically what we have to do is because we have to we should not uh, do over trading we should not have over confidence we should not be uh, adamant with the market meaning in the sense okay we we we, we challenge the market and 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 you know the market is always right and make sure that you know we follow the market and not not we we dictate the market to do what we expect okay and of course when to add on when to reduce when to cut loss etc etc all this you know if you want to become a successful trader you need to have all this uh, 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 um, uh, methods and discipline you know in order for you to become a uh, successful and of course for uh, swing traders you know you you need to know when to hold when to exit sometimes you know being a swing trader because swing traders are you see we have different types of traders okay <clears throat> basically we have like day trading we have scalping you know we have uh, swing trading and we have position trading you know it is a lot of method and it, it also depends what suits us as an individual personality and we got to follow that uh, method okay, and of course <clears throat> emotion free trading okay this is where most traders fail meaning in the sense they get hooked on to the hooked on to the market and especially when they have a uh, 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 over trading okay they get themselves uh, panic and uh, that's the reason why most traders fail and the successful traders stay in the business because they do not do that and of course we practice a kiss strategy meaning you know we, we our, our our system is uh, very short and simple okay meaning in the sense you know you the, the the system help you to decide okay what to do and uh, when to do and what is the right place to enter what is the right uh, price to put a stop and when to exit you know all this makes this is what dictates you know if 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 a trader is successful and 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 not being success okay now what we are going to do is okay let me uh, do okay what we are going to do because this is today is the last uh, trading day of the week okay we we try to discuss some live uh, 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 trades and live trade setup and uh, what i'll do is i'll show you what what i we have done you know for today you know see basically how we do is we keen orders twice a day okay one one session is for the asian session and one is before the us session and we put in the orders we define the orders whether is it a day trading whether is it a scalping or whether it's a swing trading then what we do is let the market work its way out okay <clears throat> the reason why we are doing this is because uh this is one way is because you know i've, I've been in the business for almost like 20 years okay controlling emotions is, is is the biggest hurdle you know you may have uh, a, a fantastic system but if if you do not have a proper money management and uh, and uh, if you're not able to control emotions chances of succeeding is, is going to be very difficult so so what what uh, we have found out is okay, just by following the system applying that means we 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 enter the trade only when the price reaches at specific level then only we put in a trade okay like for instance today okay in fact uh, okay, let me change the screen and uh, let me show you how we do things and uh, let me give you a trade setup based on today's market conditions okay okay so you see basically we have designed the system right and uh, we follow strictly follow the system okay we 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 try not to uh, get uh, chase the market you know whenever you know the market moves 
and we we only enter when the market reaches our specific levels okay looking at this okay this is okay of course you look at it uh this is a set of numbers and we focus on 36 crosses okay for those of you who are looking at it okay it, it looks totally blur meaning in the sense you know you do not know what hap is happening but this screen is enough for me to decide what is happening in the market this is the bird's eye view of the market on all the 36 crosses okay all the 36 crosses this is the bird's eye view so looking at this let's say we are looking at euro for instance okay right now euro is trading at 11356 okay basically this is tells me what to do okay right now based on today the market is flat because this is today's daily time frame is flat based on the weekly it is up 89 pips okay it's up 89 pips based on the uh, weekly meaning you know compared to the previous week and of course based on the monthly because these are the time frames we focus right and based on the monthly we are up about 363 pips so overall the sentiment is up okay because the weekly and the monthly the higher time frame are supporting and we expect the market to go up but the tricky part is whether the market is going to be up right away or whether the market is going to be in a, in a consolidation manner uh, uh, before the next phase up you know that's that's what we need to find out and looking at this okay this is our system this is where it's it's, it's, it's telling us where the price is trading you know meaning uh uh is trading near the open on the daily time frame on the weekly is trading at resistance zone three level and zone 11 on the monthly and quarterly is zone 15 so basically the higher time frame are well supported okay well supported meaning the the price is expected to go higher so now the question we need to ask is whether the market is going to go higher or whether it's going to consolidate so if it's going to consolidate okay we can apply buy on dips method meaning in the sense when it comes lower we go for a buy okay and we wait uh, until the breakout happens if we are expecting the price to go uh high, we have go higher much higher if not it's going to consolidate within a uh within a range right uh so now to, to, to find that answer okay we we go and check the trend okay this is what we have designed you know looking at the trend on different time frames okay this is on the daily this is on the six hour chart daily weekly monthly quarterly yearly so looking at the trend okay what's happening is on the six hour right now this current bar is trading below you know below the open and it's right right now it's moving lower but the previous bar is flat okay meaning the previous candle which is uh, the previous 360 minutes is flat so basically what the market is telling me is the market is in a consolidation phase right but when i look at on a daily which is a higher time frame the previous two days see current day is flat and the previous two days it's making higher highs and higher lows so basically what the market is telling me is the market is well supported on the daily and the hourly is coming down so we should apply buy on dips method so what we are going to do is okay we are looking to buy this and and uh, and we are going to put a stop loss and we are going to take a price target okay. next question we need to ask ourselves is where to enter that means where is the best level to enter and where is the best level to put stop loss that means so that i do not get stopped out and where is the best level to take profit so if if the market is going to consolidate okay the the price should not break the previous high agree okay uh, uh i just want you all to respond to me so that you know i i uh, at least i i know that you are with me 
Yeah, let me let me look at the. Are you all with me, please? <laughs> okay, can you? Uh... Yeah, okay, okay, I get some. Okay, right, thank you. So now, so the, the thing is, all we know is if the market is going to be, if it's going to be in a consolidation phase, the previous high should not be breached. Okay, that's the thing we need to know. Next, the level of entry, that means we have this defined more or less the price target. That means we should be exiting uh, before the previous high if we feel that the price is going to be in a consolidation phase. If we feel that the price is going to break out higher, then probably we can fight it out until you know it breaks out higher, then you know we wait for a higher price target. But overall is, as long as the previous high is not breached, we expect the price to be within a consolidation phase or within a range. Now, the next question we need to ask is, where do we put in our entry? Okay, where do we put in our entry? Where should we put our stop loss? And whether this is a scalping trade or whether this is a day trading trade or whether this is a swing trading trade. So when we are able to find the answers for all these three, then things are much, much more clearer and things are much, much more easier. Okay, so now I'll show you how I do that. <laughs> then you can you can see now now the next question we need to find out is where do we put our entry levels okay let me go to the screen so it's just you see i mean of course i'm going a bit slow and uh, because the reason is your first time you all are looking at it so as we go on you know it, it shouldn't take more than three minutes you know to put in a trade you know less than three minutes you can decide what you want to do and where you want to put your trade your entry, where you want to put your stop loss, and, and that's it, you know, and you let the market work its way out. Okay, now, the, the thing we need to ask is, where should we buy? Okay, if, see, the system is designed in such a way that the scalping trades are taken between, see, usually, okay, usually the market makes the maximum low for the day, if the market's in a trending mode, is the, the support zone two should not be breached. That means, in other words, the day high or the day low should happen within this zone levels. That means, if the day high we are looking, if the market is expected to move lower, then the price should not go above 11410. And if the market is, we are expecting to go higher than we should not expect the price to go below 11310. So that means the, the, the extreme high and low for the day is already been defined. So now we need to see what is the least, uh, I mean, uh, the, the highest probability trade setup with the least risk. Okay, now we are going to define. So what we are going to do, de define is, see how we do is, we key in all the three orders. If, if it's a swing trader, we key in the swing trading uh, signals. If it's a, a, a scalping, then we key in the scalping separate. So whenever the price reaches that level, automatically the price gets triggered and you let the market way, work its way out. So now, now, I'm looking for a buy, okay? That's for sure. I'm looking for a buy and I'm not a seller, okay? Because the market uh, on a higher time frame is telling me that the price is going to go higher and higher. So I do not want to put myself on risk. So what I do is, okay, I'll try to buy on dips. So if I'm going to do, okay, first thing is if you call yourself a day trader, okay, if you call yourself a day trader, what you should be doing is, you should be looking to buy near 11330 or 11310. Okay, these are the two levels, comfortable levels of buying entry. And the stop loss is, should be usually rule of thumb below zone five, okay, usually. But comfortable level is, if you go and look at the previous day levels, 
this comparing to previous day and current day should give you a very comfortable and very safe level okay let me show you how i do that so my entry if i'm a day trader okay first of all i'm a day trader right so what i'm going to do is i'm trying to put an order nearby this level okay i define my stop below 11225 okay now let me let me double confirm my stop so what i got to do is 11230 is my stop on the daily and when i compare it with the previous day 11230 is at zone 4 probably 112 that means below 112 it's a very comfortable level. That means you should not see the price going below 112. Okay. Am I going too fast? Okay. Uh, I hope you all, you guys are with me. You know, if I'm going too fast, uh, you let me know. I can slow down. Okay. Uh, okay. Are you all with me? Okay. Thank you. Right. Okay. Now, so we have defined. So you can call yourself a conservative trader. And probably you can call yourself a, a more risk taker, but you want to make money, right? So if you are a conservative trader, then probably you can put your stop at 11225. Okay, five pips below, below the support zone five. But if you are a more risk taker, more aggressive, then probably you put your stop at below 112. Okay, now we have decided that we are putting a stop at 112. Okay, now. We do slowly one by one. Huh? Let me let me uh, let me key in. Okay, let me key in the level so uh, you can you can get it crystal clear. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, I'm looking at euro. <coughs> okay, right now it's one one three fifty, and uh, okay now uh, I have not decided on the on the entry price. Okay, now the stop loss is. I'm going to put at uh, 11225. Okay, this is going to be my stop loss. Okay, now, where is my entry? Okay, uh, my target, my, my target, if, if I'm a day trader, if I'm a day trader, then my target should be, okay, you look at my target, huh? Uh, this is, Okay, this is okay this is today's today's uh hold it now huh? this is current price this is yesterday's close this is uh today's high and today's low okay what we need is yeah yesterday's high okay you see yesterday's high is 11435 so remember if i'm going to be a day trader I want to exit before yesterday's high, which is 114.35, okay? Now, remember I said that I want to, the day high should happen if it's, if, if, if it's, if it's in a consolidation or if it's, the, if it's a high for the day seen, should not exceed 114.10. So my price target, okay, what I would want to do is, I want to exit definitely before 114.35 and definitely before 114.10. Okay, this is for sure. If if I'm a day trader, okay, this is okay. Uh, 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 I want you guys to be with me. Okay, right. So if I'm a day trader, then definitely I want to exit before these levels. So the next comfortable level would be uh be, be, be below or before zone one or below or before today's high which is 11390 okay so this is where i want to exit okay now i've already decided on my exit so my exit is 11390 okay my stop loss is 11225 my exit is 11390 now where do i enter where do i put in my entry price okay now to give you that okay just choose the wrong screen okay the entry price would be the best entry price would be one one three thirty 
Okay, right now the market is trading at 114.47. So probably I want to enter at 113.30. Okay, then uh, I let my work uh, decide. That means either you are comfortable with 113.30 or 113.10. So let me see based on yesterday's level. Okay, we're looking at yesterday's and today's. So the yesterday's level is 11310 and yesterday's open at 11335. So probably 11330 is where I'm comfortable because I, I do not want to uh, miss this move. So right now, I want to put in a limit buy at 11330. Okay, that's it. I'm done. So this is a day trading call and I want to enter at this level. I want to put my stop loss at this level and I want to exit at this level. Okay, what I do normally is okay, usually the first entry, I'll try to go in half lot because the reason why I want to do that is because I do not want to miss any opportunity. At the same time, I want to be in the business. At the same time, I also control my risk. So what I do is that means if my normal trading size is, let's assume, you know, let's assume it's 100,000. Then what I do is I would enter 50,000 at this level and another 50,000 probably at our uh, levels where we want to enter, which is 11305 or 10. So the stop loss is still about the same. So then probably this one, I may want to exit early. It all depends on our comfort and if you, it all depends on where we want to exit. So in other words, I get two trade entries and two trade setup on this uh, market and right now as it is. And I just key in and I let the market work its way out. So this is the day trading entry. Okay, now coming to the scalping entry, that means I see what is the guarantee that the price is going to reach this level or this level. See, chances are the market may reach or may not reach. If it reaches, then we are lucky, then we are in for the trade and <clears throat> we let the market work its way out. But if the, if the market doesn't reach that level, then chances are you know we may have missed it and and chances are we may miss that opportunity very often so what we do is that's where we go in a scalping trade so the scalping trade is much closer <clears throat> what we do is the the scalping trade we will try to take it okay either within the zone level Okay, that means uh, uh, above 11340 and below 11390. This is we call this is what we call a no man zone area. That means as long as the price is trading between the support zone one and resistance zone one and near the open, we call it a no man zone area. So that's where we we put in a scalping trade. So it, it all depends. Okay, it all depends on our comfort zone. So the scalping trade can be the trade what we have entered or the day trading you know it, it can swap over because you know both works hand in hand both works hand in hand and both uh, works uh, quite comfortably and quite uh, reliable okay now what i want to do if i want to do a scalper that means i do not want to uh, i want to make money uh, from the market i want to take out money fr uh, from the market at the same time i control my risk so if i'm a scalper Okay, what I do is I would want to enter slightly, you know, one or two pips above this or slightly above this, you know, depending on and probably exit before the open or before the uh, high. So let me give you the scalping uh, entry. The scalping entry is uh, 11340, you know, this is where I want to enter and probably I want to exit at 11360 
or 11380 you no know, before the uh, uh, resistance zone one and my stop loss is probably i can put i got to put a type tighter stop loss so probably i put below uh support zone three which is 11280 so probably i put a stop at 11270 okay okay let me give you that so if i'm a scalper Okay, what I do is I want to enter 11340. My stop loss is 11270, and probably my <coughs> exit is 11365 or 60. So this is 20 pips. So what will happen? Okay, what will happen is if the market okay let me maybe uh, let me show you the chart then you can you can visualize because this is i'm just showing you with the system and probably uh you may you may not get con uh, convinced or you may not want to see or for those of you who have already been using the chart okay uh let me change the screen and show you the chart of course we can validate uh, the entry using the chart and we can see how comfortable are we uh, when we uh, put in the trade. Okay, now we look at this. Let's say we are going on a one minute chart. See, looking at this, <clears throat> okay, this is uh, my entry level is 11340, which is which is almost going to get triggered. Okay, which is almost going to get triggered. Okay, and my exit is 11360, which is somewhere here. Can you see? About what? But near, near the open 11360 and my so this is one uh this is a scalping uh trade and my day trading my entry was hold on uh where's, okay my uh, entry was 11330 okay 11330 so what i do is uh i enter at 11330 by then probably this trade I exit at uh, 11360. So in other words, what we are trying to do is we are closely monitoring the market. We are trying to reduce the cost and and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and 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 stay with the market and regularly take out money from the market. So what we do is that means we automatically key in all the orders. Okay, we key in all the orders and we let the market work its way out. So if, if the scalping order triggered, then probably we might make 20 pips on this trade. If the if the day trading order get triggered, the 30, the 30 uh, also triggered, then probably we have two uh, open position that means one scalping and one uh, day trading the first entry then if the third entry is also triggered then uh, we will try to take out profit on this or even a better price that means you know even if you want to close this at 11330 then we can close this at 113 we make 25 pips so overall is this price we are reducing our cost and we only maintain. So all in all, what we practice is, you know, oh, we, 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 we do it consistently, every day, day to day basis, reduce the cost, add on, and and stay in the market. And, and, and at one go, you know, maximum, we only hold is two open positions. Basically, either uh, one day trading, one scalping, or, or two day trading, and no scalping so we try to do it balanced uh, in such a way that our risk is at control at all times and and we try to take out money regularly from the market and this is how we do and this is how our system works so far uh, you all uh, with me you know i hope uh, it's not confusing and it's not uh, um, do you have any questions you know you can ask or you want to discuss any market uh feel free to do so i know i can i can i can i can straight away i can discuss with you uh feel free to ask any questions
Okay, no, because see, the thing is, the reason why we have done this is, because, you know, I've been in the business for almost like 20 years. So we have been uh, trying to uh, 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 work out the best. See, we always remember that the market is always right and we got to follow the market and we should not get emotional. So every day, you know, every day we generate between uh i would say uh um you know every day we generate easily about 10 to 20 signals you know and we just wait wait, wait for the market to work its way out okay the question is you know your short euro 113 okay should i call loss and go long now okay see to 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 give you an answer to that okay what i can tell you is Okay, see, we when we get caught in, into a system or when we get caught in, in in any of the trades, okay, we apply a lot of strategies, okay, meaning, you know, like averaging, you know, we, we do like something like dodging, you know, meaning in the sense we know very well that the market, see, sometimes, sometimes you get yourself caught in one market and you know very well that the market is going to come in our favor somehow or rather, then we can hold the trade. But, but when you know that you are against, you know, the trend and against the waves, the best thing is, you know, take the loss and <clears throat> try to uh, 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 be in the market and, and try to reverse and stay put so that you do not lose uh, money in the long run. So if, if your euro is 113 short, okay, which is not that bad level, you know. So what I would suggest is, Okay, looking at this, I suggest you you straight away you reverse, meaning in the sense you take your loss uh, and and try to to because you're only going to lose about 30, 40 pips, you know. Then you try to reverse. That means you go for a buy and you try to stay with the trend and 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 stay put. Okay, Euro US daily chart okay you look at euro us okay now what 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 is the question you want to ask uh, uh, say march 1 2 3 you know I, I i don't have your name but uh, what 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 you need to know about euro okay I, I mean i can show you the daily chart but if you tell me uh, uh Swing trade, okay. Swing trade, okay. Good. Okay, now see euro. Okay, what we feel, okay, honestly, what we feel is, okay, this is near the breaking out trend. Okay, of course, euro is a bit uh, tricky because you know uh, because of the Greece, <coughs> excuse me, the Greece uh, news. Okay, it's, it's been holding on. Okay, to give you an answer to that, okay, if if I refer my system. Okay, uh, looking at euro. Okay, you look at all the euro crosses. Okay, the euro crosses are well supported. Okay, well supported. You look at euro. Okay, euro is trading well supported on the weekly and on the monthly and, and on the quarterly and except for pound. Okay, euro yen is up, all up. So it's overall is well supported and, and I see all the euro crosses are trading well above so what we feel is we are expecting a breakout soon or breakout happen okay irrespective of course this is purely based on the uh, technical news right but of course the fundamental you know the news comes out different then probably we may get a fail break or, or it may fail but what we feel is once it breaks one one four seventy okay we expect the price to go okay the next level we are looking i mean of course i can give you some, some uh a price target you know uh we expect at least uh about 11680 11840 even uh, 11950 you know but of course it has to clear that 11450 level then we can clearly see the breakout and we can see towards that level but looking at 
our zone levels okay you look at uh, the yearly okay, let me show you that okay on a higher time frame see on the level on the yearly is trading at uh, zone 15 and uh, on the previous year is also trading at zone 15 okay let me give you the levels then you can uh, let me change the screen okay then you can see okay look at this this is uh, my own worksheet okay, this is on the yearly okay if you look at yearly okay i have a resistance at 11530 okay 11530 11615, uh, 11650, 11745, 11790. Okay, these are the key barriers. So the 11530 has to go. So if the price breaks 11530, that means after it breaks 11470, uh, I expect that 11530 to hold. Okay, and once that 11530 breaks, then we we can expect all these levels otherwise the market may consolidate until the breakout happens or it may have a false break and it may come down you know so both are possible so in other words you know it's the make or break scenario so what we expect is the market can have move in either direction but right now the bulls are in control but they do not have enough strength, but we have to wait for them to gain strength in order for the market to uh, expect to move in our favor. Until then, I think we, we got to be uh, working. So the best scenario, if I were you, okay, if I were you, the best scenario, what I do is, that's where I, we, we define, uh, we, we design the system in such a way that when the market is in a range or congestion, we become a day trader or scalper when the market breaks out then we come in as a swing trader so you can go it's like a merry-go-round you know <laughs> that means you you apply all the uh, uh, strategies then you would be most of the time in the market and try to take out money from the market okay i hope i answered your question okay now the next question is let's say i want to risk two percent per trade for the daily orders is one percent per trade since we have two trades yeah, you can do that. See, see, this is what we have been applying and this is what we have been following. So if you look at our signals, you know, we also generate uh, signals on our system, you know, every month, you know, uh, on, on average, you know, all in all, we generate more than about 1,000 signals, I mean, 1,000 pips. So, of course, you know, we have defined, you know, whether it's a, it's a day trading or swing trading or scalping so so every month we have been doing this so you you can just follow see the follow the system you can apply and you let the money work for you you know let the money work and let the market um, uh, works its way out of course you know uh, you do get stopped out once in a while but but what i'm saying is the probability is is quite high you know so so this is up to you to see how you want to apply i mean i mean one first time you come and look at it the system okay it it it, it looks very complex okay i'll tell you this is for me is is because i've been working this for donkey years you know so looking at it straight away you know it tells you see like for instance i'll show you one you know see uh you look at like for instance you look at let's say on the weekly okay you look at on the weekly Okay, you look at weekly, I'm not a seller for pound. Definitely, I'm not a seller because the weekly is well supported on the pound. You know, it's trading above the previous week. You know, you see above the previous week and uh, right now it's trading at uh, uh, zone 8 level and I'm expecting it to go higher. So anytime, you know, dips pick up, you know, look to buy, uh, buy and that's what you should be doing. And the same thing goes on dollar Swiss. See, dollar Swiss broke the previous week. So I'm not a buyer. You know, I got to wait until the price reverses. The same thing for Kiwi. Kiwi is <clears throat> don't go for a buy until the market reverses. 
Sing dollar is also sell. So all this, you see, one look at it, you know, I look at the screen. Of course, it looks a set of numbers, but you apply it day to day, you know, it's, it's just basically, you know, just like, you know, first time when you learn how to drive, you know, there are so many gadgets in the vehicle and, you know, you need to know, understand how, when and why, when to use, when not to use and all this stuff. But once you uh, become a professional, you know, once, meaning, you know, once you become a regular driver, you know, when to use the same manner, you know, you look at this, it is all set of numbers. And, and we, we believe, you know, this is called a price level language, you know, this, because this is, this is the language of the market. You must understand that. And you need to communicate with the market with this language. There's no other way, you know, because it's a number game. So you need to communicate with the market. You need to understand the language. You need to apply this language. Then only uh, you would know what, what, what we meant and what we are talking uh okay the next one is yeah if it breaks it could be a strong rally yeah that that's what uh we believe you know we believe that this is going to be a strong rally of course you know the fundamental news is preventing it so we got to wait for the grease news to be out then we would know i mean if the the, the grease news is favorable to euro then definitely for sure you know you can expect a strong rally you're right so what about risk reward ratio versus win rate okay <laughs> see basically see risk reward uh i would not say uh you know the risk reward works so perfect but you can you can ask you can you can trust on the probability you know that means uh, the probability of success and probability of losing that's where we come in but when you say risk reward see sometimes for example like scalping just now i put a stop you know I, I about 70 pips you know i mean there's nothing to hide you know so this is all very crystal clear and we are very open so you see like for instance this one is if you lose you lose 70 pips right but uh when you make you only make 20 pips but the only thing i can tell you is the chances of you succeeding uh making this is very high that means you know you every time you make 20 20 pips and it's enough for you to 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 incur a loss and you still be in the business so so that that's why we we are more working more focused on probability rather than risk reward you know but of course when you say the winning rate that's where we come in so the, the chances of you um uh, winning is high right okay then okay, let me sorry let me finish the slide and any more questions? Any more questions? Please uh, feel free to ask. I think. Uh, okay. So, so uh, <clears throat> what we do is, okay, we provide. This are like I, I told you, you know, we split all the signals separately, you know. So this is what we did last month. The previous month we did even better. And we also do regular webinars and uh, we provide a strategy report, which is also in our website. And this is for exclusive to, to all those, you know, <clears throat> FX Street users. We give you a free trial on any one of our services. We uh, it's free live signals on scalping or day trading or swing trading up to you. You know, I'll let you choose. And uh, if you introduce three friends, you also get a free service for a month. So overall, it's, all is free, you know. So you have nothing to lose. What I would suggest is, you know, you just have to come and try to fill it and uh, to 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 validate uh, validate our system. Okay. Any more questions? One last questions before I call it off. Okay. We have no questions. Okay. Once again, thank you very much for coming into this room. Hope to see you all again. And uh, I take this opportunity to thank uh, FX Street for organizing this event and. Uh, once again, okay, uh, our email ID, see all, it's all in the website, okay, this, uh, uh, you can write to info at, uh, info at precise trader.com. And uh, if you feel, any questions you have or anything, I'm sorry, sorry, I think I, I addressed it too long. Sorry, yeah. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, uh, so this is uh, our email. You can write to us. You can you can discuss on any markets. You know, we do futures. We do CFDs. Uh, we are slowly. You know, we are bringing all the services to all the clients. So anything you feel free, feel free to write to us. Okay. One more question. When you come for the free trial, please give us your information correctly. You know. So this is a request. You know, if you give the wrong information, probably it will kick you out. You know. So hope to see you again. Till then, have a great weekend. Goodbye. Thank you.